Okay, my name is Sandra King. Miss King, are you from Gaston County? I am. How long have you been in Gaston? A uh, few years. I was in Cherryville before that. You married? No. Got kids? Serenity. Just one. Oh, so this was your daughter that was down here. Yeah, she mm -hmm. keeps telling me she wants to do an interview. We got around to it yet. I think I'm making her nervous. Oh, uh, so you and your daughter are standing together in the streets, are you not? No, we were. Uh, I was in an abandoned building in Charlotte. Um, I got to Gastonia, and here uh, I stayed at Tent City, which I absolutely loved, and they should have never took that down. That was so helpful. Um, from there, I went to the Salvation Army. I'm looking for a house. Uh, I'm 75. People think homeless people are drug addicts or drunks. Not true. Um, my story is they stole my daughter's money. They stole my car. And we ended up going downhill real quick. And pretty soon we're in the streets. I spent 11 days sleeping in the grass um, until I finally got Tent City, where we got fed, showers, bathroom. That, that was a crime, shutting that down. Crime. There are other elderly people out here. Some are walkers. And uh, I get a check. I'll soon be hopefully getting a house, but uh, the way they treat people out here is criminal. They just, the cops run you off from spot to spot. Most of the people out in the woods, way out. I just climbed the worst hill on earth to get here for lunch, and um, I just hate the way they treat people. And if they think it can happen to them, they're crazy. Yeah, like one miserable occurrence away from being here yourself so i i hope and i wish that somebody would get on the stick and help these people give them a place to live um i had i had three businesses in 10 room house i mean i didn't come from the streets i'm glad i had this experience because i have a greater understanding of what it's like for people and uh, how hard it is to get showers, uh, food, place to sleep. And uh, I just wanted to let them know it's a crime. I wish the city would help, but apparently they didn't. Or Ms. Uh, Pastor Moses would have been able to keep us going. He's still trying. That's a miracle right there. He even delivers food to the bus station where at Salvation Army, you got to leave at 8 o'clock in the morning till 4, and we go sit over there, and he brings us dinner. I mean, you can't ask for more than that. Does the Salvation Army feed you too? Yeah, but... Ain't home cooked, is it? No cereal in the morning. Um, ice water. Sandwiches at lunch sometimes, at dinner and maybe a chicken. I know uh, I've tried to do interviews with the city councils, and uh, they won't go online. They won't go on camera and say it, you know, because they're with the city. But I had them tell me that uh, when we broke this place up, we made a bad situation worse. They did. They did, because before they would come here, and when they were looking for somebody, now they got to go out there and hunt for them. Uh, I hate to say it, but last night my roommate was murdered. Uh, 23 years old, she was strangled and left behind a dumpster. It's not easy out here for women, not at all, even men. What was her name? Alicia, that's all I know. She had kids. She carried a little buggy around behind her. I'm not sure what her story is, but I'm heartbroken. I'm trying to find out where they're going to bury her so I can go to the funeral. Um, there was a rape last week. I mean, that is a sheltered environment with people who has taken care of you, you know? Actually tried to get a job there. 
Um, I don't know how much longer I'm going to live, but at least I have a good idea of how this all works. What do you do when you got nothing? It just happened to my granddaughter. She got into it with her boyfriend. He threw her out, slept in the car. She had to find a place to put her boy. She's back home now, but um, that's a domestic situation. There's so many things. You lose a job. You Like I got my stuff stolen. Uh, even my charger, you know? So I guess that's about all I got to say, but somebody better get on the stick and do something about these homeless people. Criminal leaving them out here. I don't think the city has a solution. They don't, they want to turn a blind eye. It's like the people that walk by you. I spend more time sitting on a cement on the side of the road. Uh, I got to hand it to North Carolina. People come and bring you food. I I would die without that. I'm diabetic. My I lost my uh, tester. All my insulin went bad. I have no place to, uh, you know, keep it cold. And I've been walking a lot, drinking water, and being watchful of what I eat. I mean, I don't want to go into a coma. Um, I don't know. It's a sin. It is criminal. What are you? What are you afraid of out here? Right now, I'm kind of afraid of that murderer running loose. You know, unless they find him. I can't believe that happened to her. She was so lively and happy. I don't know. One day you're here, next day you're gone. If I could tell you how many people I saw that have overdosed. You know, uh, shot. This is not what I wanted for myself. I certainly not what I want for my daughter. I carry Narcan in my bag. Do you? I That's do. smart. You don't know when it's going to happen. And now the problem is all these people out in the woods alone. There's nobody to knock on them. Right. That you know? that is true. At least when we had everybody here. You know, your oh, access yeah. to Narcan within 150 feet. Now, I don't, you I don't know, my daughter would, would go out and hit them with that. I can't tell you how many people she saved. It's a horrible drug, fentanyl especially. And I would never do anything that would kill me, but they do. Must be some draw there. Uh, I know in the future, by coming into some money, I'm going to do something. I'm going to find a way. Uh, people pull over on side road and hand you five dollars. You know they think that's not much, but if you got nothing, that's everything. I had a heart attack, and uh, when I got out of the hospital, my car was stolen, and uh, one of the nurses got me a Uber, got me over here to Gastonia. But I don't know. I feel real bad for people. When I got into the shelter. I cried. They're like, why are you crying? You're safe. I'm like, I'm crying for the people that didn't get in. Because I know they're still out there suffering. and yeah, Nothing I can do. That, that's now. I'll find your way. Uh, thank you for doing the interview. I guess that's all I got to say. Young lady, we appreciate you doing this interview. God bless us. you.